Hi, what's up everyone? Welcome back. I'm Seth Ashworth and this is another episode of Coach's Toolbox. Some tips for whitewater kayak coaching uh, from my personal experience in the last 13 years teaching people uh, how to kayak. Hopefully it's going to be a little nugget of, of useful information for you and maybe something you hadn't considered that can help you out with your coaching and kind of furthering yourself, which I think is what we're all trying to do. We're all trying to get better, or at least I'm, I'm always thinking about that. Just like last week, I'm going to make this available on the, on the podcast too, so it's audio only, so if you prefer to just listen to it while you're driving or whatever, you're not missing out on anything by just listening or by just watching. I'm going to make these videos super simple and super quick and just hopefully be able to kind of transmit some of my knowledge and some things that I wish I had known, uh, known more about and, and taken more care with. So what I wanted to talk about this week is outfitting and how correct outfitting can actually make the learning experience a thousand million 100 trillion bazillion times better um, just by you taking a little bit more care and attention to how your students are fitted into their kayaks. It makes a big difference and this wasn't something that I've picked up on right away for the longest time. I would always just try and get our class moving and get on the water as quickly as possible. Um, and then after a while I started to figure out that actually just by taking five extra minutes and I would always try and time cap it at five extra minutes um, of kind of outfitting people just so they fit their boat a bit better. It was actually making a huge difference and people were being a lot more successful, especially in areas like the roll and edging, which are really, really critical to people's development, right? So I think in a beginner class, in a beginner setting, this is really, really easy. You're probably working somewhere where you have all the equipment and you know how it all works. Um, and so getting those people so that their feet are actually really snug, like, snugly secure and pressing on something, that might mean taking their shoes off or changing shoes. That might mean adding uh, like foot shims to the, to the foot block or moving the foot uh, rest closer to them. Uh, tightening those hip pads, this is especially important I think, and making sure they're in the right place. So being closer to your hips, but also making sure that if it's causing those feet to fall asleep, so you can just move those hip pads up a little bit. And finally, making sure that back band, that back rest is really pushing in on you and getting a nice, tight, secure fit. And I like to do that by leaning forward a bit whilst I'm tightening up, uh, and that seems to give the best fit. I like to explain it to people like, your boat should fit you like just to the point where it's uncomfortable. Um, and then as you get used to it, and as you get used to being in that position a bit more and your hip flexors kind of get used to sitting in this weird position, that things will things will just open up and, and you'll start to relax and it'll feel a bit better uh, but at first it's going to be kind of uncomfortable and what i like to do is actually check in with my whole class every every now and again like probably at, like at least once every 45 minutes just on how everyone's outfitting is and once they get more used to it especially from that beginner setting like once they kind of know more what to expect they start to think, oh, maybe I do want my back band tighter. Maybe I do need to push my feet a bit more towards me with a, a bigger footrest. Maybe my hips are a bit looser than I thought they were gonna be. Um, and remember how you first felt, right? Like your first time kayaking and everything's tight and, and close and small. And you just need to find that balance of not spending your whole lesson like outfitting because then you actually won't do any kayaking but spending just enough time so that everyone has a, a slightly better fit and then the boat's going to be a lot more responsive it's going to move with them a lot better and it, you know they're going to be able to turn and edge and roll a lot easier because they're actually able to engage their hips and their legs a lot more eff efficiently and a lot more effectively and that's kind of a, a big piece of the puzzle that a lot of people um, don't get where the, this like outfitting thing can be harder is when you're teaching people who already have their own equipment and maybe it's equipment you've never seen before but you need to figure out how to make sure that what they have can fit them the, the best it can and i think it's always useful to have with you uh, while you're coaching kind of in those first few days some extra pieces of foam some little like cut up piece of yoga mat or whatever that can just slide in around any areas where they are a bit loose uh, maybe having a screwdriver or an allen key for some of those different designs of boats that require that to move the seat or to tighten up the um, the back band or, or any of that other stuff. It's super useful just to have with you in your gear bag. So that's something to keep in mind. Sometimes you do just need to take a second to look at that person's equipment and think, okay, something's not quite right. I can see your boat's not moving how it's meant to and just figure out why that is. Another really big one to talk about on the outfitting thing is seat position uh, and especially how this equates to trim in your boat. 
This is super, super important, uh, especially for teaching people in uh, freestyle kayaks or like slicey kayaks. That trim is gonna make a huge difference on how your boat crosses eddy lines. So it's really important that they're kind of centered. It's gonna be tempting, especially with really short people, to crank them all the way forwards or with tall people all the way back. But in my opinion, you kind of need to stay as, as close to the middle as you're comfortable with to start with. And that should always be your starting place. So that, so that trim is like fairly level. And if you see them paddling around and their boat is obviously too much like back heavy or too much bow heavy, then that trim is off. And you need to think about moving that seat around. But that's not always something that we're looking for. And sometimes you'll see someone really struggling on an eddy line, just always catching their stern and flipping over. And you, you, know, you can see their edges right and their angles right and their speeds right, but it's just not quite panning out. And so quite often something you have to look at is that that trim piece of the puzzle right so outfitting is so critical and so key but it should be like an ongoing thing that you're always checking in on right like how tight are people can they be tighter can their feet be closer are their knees all the way tucked in like is their back band touching them and doing a good job about making it um about making their boat very responsive right the more responsive your boat is the easier it is to paddle the less responsive it is, the harder it is to paddle. It's the same as like walking in a pair of shoes that are four sizes too big for you. If you, you know, like imagine like a little kid with a grown up pair of shoes, like there's no way, like there's no way they're gonna be able to run uh, like a marathon, right? And that's kind of what we're talking about is just making sure that the equipment you have fits you correctly and then you can make it uh, work to its potential. So if you're teaching people who ha always have their own equipment, Take a, look at, you know, take a look at their gear. Don't just assume because they have their own equipment that it fits them correctly, right? Like this is something that can be really hard with intermediate kayakers and people who already own all their own gear and they've been paddling for a bit, is they're a bit resistant to change. They're a bit resistant to someone saying, you know, you could probably have your footrest like, you know, one notch closer and it'll make it a bit easier for you. Or your hip pads could be a bit tighter or your back band could be a bit tighter. And if you can phrase it in a way that's like, hey, can I help you do this? I think it's gonna improve your paddling overall. They're usually a lot more open to taking that, uh, to making those changes rather than um, just saying, no, no, it's fine. This is how it always is, right? So that can be a difficult mindset to break people out of, but I think it's really important that the way you're outfitted affects your boat so, so much that you, we should be taking more more of an interest in it as coaches, how people are fitting their boat because it's actually gonna affect their experience really dramatically. I touched on it a minute ago when I was talking, but you, if you're teaching a beginner class especially, try and time cap this outfitting phase like five, 10 minutes tops. You don't wanna to spend too much time outfitting. You don't wanna to spend too much time talking, blah, 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 at the start of your session. Like people are there to go kayaking, right? They're there to learn to kayak. We can teach them a lot more effectively if they're actually in their kayaks kayaking right like if you're one of those people that wants to sit around and talk for an hour before you go kayaking like cool i, I guess there's, there's like a, a niche for that 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 people want to that people are looking for but certainly i think that the most productive time you have is when you're actually in the kayak so keep that in mind i think you do need to balance outfitting with actually getting going getting on the water get, getting getting your class flowing and moving um, especially if you've got like an early start, it can be difficult, you know, people are groggy, but that movement, those paddle strokes really just energizes people and gets their brains kind of kicking into gear. So I do encourage you, uh, this is kind of the takeaway from, from my like uh, episode two of the toolbox here, spend more time on outfitting, make sure that those people who, you're, who are in your, in your care are really well outfitted and, they, and their boats fit as, as best you can possibly make it. You're probably never gonna make it perfect in a five to 10 minute window, but you can make it better or we'll try and figure out how to make it better. Um, and then just balance that, making it better with getting, getting moving, getting on the water, getting after it. All right, this has been uh, Coach's Toolbox. As ever, listen to it on the podcast or, uh, or here on YouTube, wh whatever. Thank you so much for taking the time. I appreciate you. I will see you next week. Peace.